What's going on everybody? This is Ultima I Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to check out five Cydia tweaks for September 2017. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first up we have Castro. This tweak's available for $1.29 and it improves the volume HUD in iOS. So when you go ahead and adjust your ringer, it'll actually give you this new circular view, which is a nice refresh to the interface. Also at the top, you'll notice how it actually says ringer and it gives you the icons to indicate that it is the ringer. Now when you're listening to music on your device, this tweak provides you with useful information like the album artwork and what you're listening to right within the volume HUD. So let me go ahead and open up Spotify here and uh, we'll go ahead and start playing something and I'll show you what this looks like. So let me go ahead and adjust the volume. And as you can see, just like that, we have the improved interface. You have the album artwork right in the middle there. And of course, when we, if we go ahead and change songs, it will take an effect as you see. But we have the album artwork, we have the name of the song, the artist at the bottom. And also, you see at the top there, we have the app, uh, you know, the name of the app that the music or media is coming from in the volume progress, basically in the upper right corner of the HUD. So you can see there when I adjust the volume, it actually will update just like that. So some great improvements to the volume HUD in iOS. And if you head over to settings after installing the tweak and open up a Castro, you will find some settings to configure in here. But once again, this tweak is called Castro. Improve the volume HUD in iOS. It's available for $1.29. Next up, we have Boulders. This one's free, and it basically stands for Bold Folders. So it's basically a redesign to folders on iOS. So as you can see here, when I go ahead and open up a folder, it does look completely different. It actually takes up the entire screen and uh, definitely has a nice refreshed design. So of course, you have the title up at the top, and we also have up at the top the number of applications that are within the folder, which is definitely a very convenient feature. And again, it takes up the entire screen with this new refreshed design. And you could, of course, scroll as you're normally used to between different pages. You could, of course, do that as you're normally used to. And again, it's just a very nice refresh to the way that folders look. Now, also, when, you're, when you want to actually move an application out of a folder, basically what you do now is you go into wiggle mode, of course, or you tap and hold on an icon, and then you actually drag up here, and then it will basically go out of the folder. So that's just how it's going to work now with this tweak. But uh, once again, it's called Boulders, available for free. Next, we have Texty Clock. This tweak is $1.50, and it allows you to customize the text of your clock on the lock screen and also in the status bar. And, you know, basically one of its main features is it turns it from just numbers into actually words. So it'll say 644, as you can see right there. And also, again, on the lock screen as well, you can see how it looks here. So, you know, in the settings, there's various options. But I think by default, when you just install it, it actually looks really nice. But uh, once again, if you head over to settings, you could go into, here it is, Texty Clock. And again, there's a various different options in here, as you can see, to customize customize it, you know, the uh, uppercase, lowercase, you know, definitely the text bold, the text size, the font size, everything like that. So it's a very extensive in here. So uh, definitely a really nice tweak. Again, you could basically make this look really good. Maybe with a maybe with a custom setup you have on your lock screen or something like that, you could make this fit in very well. And also it just kind of spices things up. It's definitely a nice refresh to the way the lock screen works, you know, any way you decide to use it. So once again, Texty Clock, $1.50. Red failed messages will turn messages that fail to send inside the messages application red. So normally, of course, when a message fails to send, it'll say not delivered, and you'll have this exclamation point, and if you tap on it, you could try again. But again, this tweak will actually turn the entire bubble red. So this tweak fits in very well with iOS. It definitely looks like it could have been there from the start. So once again, it's called red failed messages. Color status bar system-wide will allow you to customize the color of your status bar. So you can customize the background color, which is blue for me, and the color of the individual elements within there, which is red for me. So again, this could just be great if you like to customize your device. And also, maybe again, if you have a custom setup on your device, like a theme, something like that, that you know would look good with a specific color scheme, this could also be a great tweak for that as well. Now, you could also just have one of the elements enabled, so basically either the background color or the uh, color of the element. So if you just want one of those, you could do that. So let's just go ahead and head over to settings and you jump into color status bar. This is where you configure everything. So of course we can enable or disable the status bar color, which is the background color, which is blue for me right now. If you just tap there, you could go ahead and customize it like this. And then of course you could also use these two sliders on the bottom to uh, drag the color to your liking. Then we have the status bar text slash icon color, which again is red for me. You just go in here and you check on the one you want, which for me is red. Now again, you could also just have one of these if you don't want both. So for example, let's say I just wanted the text to be customized. I could just toggle this off and then only this text color will apply. And there's also a miscellaneous option to show the status bar in this switcher because normally in iOS that doesn't happen. And as you can see right there, it does take an effect. But 
But uh, regardless, let's go ahead and respring to apply the change that I made, which was disabling the background color. All right, and as you can see right here, the change took an effect. So the background color is disabled, and it's just the text that's customized to red now. And I actually think that looks really nice. But once again, this week's called Color Status Bar System Wide. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos pertaining to City of Tweaks. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter and like it on Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.